Hi, today we are giving a look to some Kurogami application that could be the future of KDE. Let me explain. Right now these application, except for Discover, are mostly developed by the Plasma Mobile team. But it's not like they only should be used on Plasma Mobile. As you can see, they are actually pretty ready for desktop as well, as Kurigami is a convergent uh, framework. So what we are doing is making a framework to make sure that apps are convergent and consistent between each other. If you look at them, you can see that they're, uh, they use the same layout, uh, the same kind of buttons, um, the same kind of elements like this card and this card and so on. Because I've seen some comments in the latest video saying like KDE should uh, improve their consistency and that's what we are doing. We are creating this uh, suite of applications that are very consistent between each other. We are of course also working on making our uh, previous application consistent as well, but that's a bigger task. So let's give them a look. Of course Discover you already know about this, so I'll skip it, but just uh, know that a new redesign of the home page is coming but if we look at the rest of them we have a recorder that looks pretty good we can start a recording and then when we are happy with it we can save it we can give it a name clip 2 is fine and if we try to do a new one we can also see that there are a lot of settings the format to save it the audio quality and so on audio input lots of stuff Right now it only updates uh, when I restart the application, so you don't see clip 2, but you have seen uh, the one I've, I've done before. We can change the name and if we want to hear me, we can play them again. And right now I'm hearing my own voice. I can skip forward and backwards and then I can stop it. It's very useful, it's very simple, yet it would work perfectly both on the desktop and on mobile. It's very convergent. Then we have the clock with this sidebar, which on mobile actually becomes a, let's say, a slider, some kind of slider with all of the options. We can see as an example the time, we can edit the time zones, the timers, I put one as an example, but we can add more just put like five minutes and call it new timer two. As we can see, we can restart it, reset actually, sorry, and so on. We also have a stopwatch as we would expect. And remember that this works very nicely both on the phone and on the desktop. It is meant to be used in both. Design is pretty good, it's very clean, but it's not like it's not powerful. If we look at the system monitor, the very new system monitor, it uses Kurigami. It's also pretty consistent with the other Kurigami application, as you can see. It uses the same design, same cards, and so on, but it's not like it's not powerful. Actually, this one might be one of the most powerful system monitors I've ever seen. We can pretty much customize everything, move the stuff inside the cards uh, and stuff like that. It's super powerful. So if we get back to these applications, we've the, we have the clock, alarms, we have settings, lots of stuff. Then we have alligator, which is a RSS viewer. If we add a feed as an example, we have the KD planet. So let's go for it and then it loads the latest 10 um, entries. We can see them, we can add feeds, more options, refresh feed, see the details and then get back. And uh, we can read them as, you know, any normal RSS viewer and we can open them in the browser. So let's close them and switch to the next part which has Coco and weather. Let's actually look at weather first. I think the design of weather is really nice. We can even choose between a flat user uh, interface and a more dynamic one. Let's go for the dynamic. And then we can add uh, our location. I need to choose one first. So loading, I've added Punta Fagno and we can see the sun because it's sunny 
and if I click on tomorrow then it's free. I mean not the background but it is raining. <laughs> and then we have uh, the graph with the temperature, lots of stuff, I can switch between the days and we've got all the important information with sunrise and sunset. And again this is convergent meaning that it will work just as well on the phone. Actually you can probably download the APK for lots of these applications. I can add multiple locations like let's try let's see if there's Genoa yeah it's sunny let's see if I can get some city when it's raining as always Milano is my pick when I want a rainy city so let's see no it's still sunny in Milano we have settings we can set uh, Fahrenheit if you're I don't know crazy or something but I guess it works and then we have Coco with lots, uh, which is a picture viewer. We can see a picture as an example. We can make mark it favorite. We can edit it, and this is actually I, I will not say powerful because it's it's mostly at the beginning. But there are the basic um, stuff for editing, like select uh, cropping or rotating the image, flipping and mirroring. And in the future, we should also see like drawing on the image. And in the future, I mean soon, because I've already seen it kind of working. Then we have uh, a way to share, slideshow, imgur, stuff like that. The slideshow goes full screen automatically. And um, also we've got a full screen button, just like, um, just like uh, Gwenview. We can swipe between all the previews at the bottom and then just pick one. We can zoom in and zoom out with the touch, touch screen if you have one but also with um, the two buttons and that's almost it. We can also see that the sidebar is also pretty powerful because we can select by favorites and then we can see the trash the networks, um, I've got like my website so I can see all the images on my website which is none, sorry about that. And then we have countries, stuff like that, if I had metadata enabled and I can also sort by year, month, weeks. As you can see it's pretty powerful, I can make it bigger if needed and go into settings. Right now they're pretty basic so they don't have a lot of settings but Again, Kurigami does not mean that they will be basic forever. They will be powerful because Plasma Moto is always simple by default but powerful when needed. And we can see that something that's already pretty powerful is NeoChat, which is Matrix uh, client done in Kurigami. We can see it as even a sidebar. Let's see if I can, yes, I can actually on the desktop, if the window is wide enough, I get all the information here. The members, I can mark a chat as favorite, so that it's always on top. I've got all the settings necessary for um, the chats. I can open multiple windows, like this window just for the Plasma Mobile chat, which is something that you can do only in very few clients, like even in the Telegram client, which is pretty powerful, you cannot do stuff like that. And then you have settings for each room. Of course, uh, I cannot edit the information of this room because I'm not an admin, but it works really nicely. I can reply, react with emojis, stuff like that, write my images, attach files. It has pretty much everything you would want out of a matrix client and what's really impressive that is that this application is super new I've seen develop I've seen it develop like super fast so I have very high expectation for the future and then I have Elisa which I would like to show you because it's really pretty it has gradients and everything but unlikely I do not have any playlist I do not have and I don't know where to download them from so in the comments, please link me some albums, legal stuff, obviously, maybe something I can buy as well. 
to like have some files to show you all the pretty album covers and stuff. And that was pretty much everything. There are a lot more Kurigami application. I, I know at least like 30 Kurigami application, but there's more. As an example, the Plasma Mobile application on... I don't actually have the Plasma Mobile application, shame on me, but it's done in Kurigami. So the Kurigami apps look really nice. Of course, they are all very new because Kurigami is rather new. So it does, they don't seem to be pretty powerful, but they can be as proven by system settings, which is not system settings, sorry, system monitor, which in my opinion is like super powerful. All the editing that's able to do is awesome. So it's totally something that's feasible and we are working on it and super cool stuff.